You know, my new record is named Champagne for Gypsies, and uh, it's second part of my alcohol record. And um, first idea was to make, uh, because first part of this alcohol record for, was for strong alcohol, drinking and dancing record for strong alcohol. An idea of uh, Champagne was to make one romantic record, and then it comes out to all those problems with gypsies in, around Europe. You know, they throw them out from France, from Italy, on the East, it's terrible as always. So, uh, I decide uh, to make one re record that will just remind us that gypsies left strong traces in our culture. So this is why you will find so many guests on my, on my record, like never before. I invite some of my favorite some gypsies that I like. Uh, some of them are very famous, uh, from Gypsy Kings till uh, Gogol Bordello. Some of them you probably don't know, but I know them, they are very good. They are big stars in, in their countries. Uh, some Salino Liri is debutant, I wanted to have a debutant who probably will have a big career. So if, if I thought probably if you want to send a message it's better to send it as loud as possible. So this is why I invite those guests. So of course it's, uh, it's also one drinking and, and dancing record, but with this little mes message, just to remind us that uh, gypsies are among us more than six centuries in Europe. And uh, during that time they just gave us a joy and we gave them hard time, always. Probably composer from from one normal place should excuse a lot because he's doing alcohol records but uh, I'm from the place where music was always just for drinking we don't have classical music in uh, in time of Monteverdi and first opera we had instrument with just one chord so the music was since always just for drinking so Knowing that I will left in this tradition of drinking some music, it's a uh, it's big pleasure for me. No, it's not ironic. It's, uh, you know, of, of course I'm not saying uh, go and kill yourself with alcohol. It's, it's ridiculous. But you can kill yourself with anything. If you, if you eat too much borscht, you can kill yourself uh, same like with alcohol. So it's not uh, alcohol falls because you are doing mistakes. But alcohol may... <coughs> play a role in our cultures since always. Since always human beings want to mark some moments in their lives. And uh, it's very often that you want to mark this moment with some little alcohol. So of course you can <clears throat> look on, uh, on alcohol from, uh, from medicine point of view, from uh, social uh, education point, point of view, from different point of views. My point of view is that because I'm doing something to mark some moment in your life and little alcohol helps. I, I'm writing on Roma because it doesn't, my native language doesn't exist anymore. It, uh, in Yugoslavia it was called Serbo-Croatian, one language that tried to unify. And now there are different languages that that they try to, they insist on differences. So I'm not comfortable to, to write anymore on any of them. So mainly I, when I'm writing new music, I'm writing on, on Gypsy, on Roma, or on invented language. But on my last record, of course, there is lots of languages. There are Spanish with Gypsy Kings, English with Global Bordello, and uh, uh, Romanian, uh, uh, even uh, the the Swiss uh, gypsy, who is actually French star, French star he sings on uh, on one German dialect of Swiss. Uh, so, oh yes, yes, it's on record messy with languages. Yeah, it was very old-fashioned process of making this record. You know, nowadays you send by email something, and somebody send you back something by, by email. But this was very old-fashioned. I was traveling. Uh, I don't know. With Eugene, I worked in uh, first in Paris with whole band, and then with him in uh, in Rio de Janeiro because he lives there. We spent one week having fun, drinking and making music. Uh, 
uh, I discovered there is quite huge gypsy community in, in Rio and he has a lot of friends, gypsy friends. We even record in one gypsy recording studio, which is, uh, luckily he's slim, but he's so small, so if it's a little bit bigger, he couldn't enter. Uh, then I traveled on the south of France to work uh, with Gypsy Kings. It was, uh, you know, it's always a little miracle happen when you are surrounded by the, by the talented people. You suddenly, your, your songs start to be played by Gypsy Kings. It's, uh, it suddenly became uh, Rumba Catalan. It's same like with Eugene, it suddenly became Gypsy Punk. Then also you, you discover the stories uh, gypsy stories that are always a little bit different from our stories. Stefan Escher, he's a French star, but he's a Swiss gypsy. <clears throat> so he told me, he told me the story that I, I would never expect from, from somebody from Swiss, Switzerland. That he discovered very late that he's gypsy, because uh, the politics of Swiss government was to pick up the kids from the gypsy families and to put them in the Swiss families. So his family was hiding the kids and hiding their gypsies. So in age of 12, 13 something, suddenly one night his uh, father was uh, drunk with his uncles. So they start to speak weird language and sing weird songs. So this is how he discovered that he's gypsy. And, and I'm talking about uh, 50s, 60s, 70s even. Still this politics was there. Yes, this, so it's, uh, then also, I don't know, let's say even very integrated gypsies like in Ireland that I work with, uh, with uh, Selena O'Leary, it's, uh, of course they have houses, they live in houses like any other Irish, but still there is always one van in, in a garden ready to travel. They, they don't travel already for a long time, but still there is always one van for traveling. So it was uh, really uh, one old fashioned of making record, but at the same time very joyful for me.